Hey witchy fam! This is Autrina and I am here to do the October Witch's Box reveal. And I'm really excited about this one because October is of course my favorite month like many many witches. Here is the beautiful box. Magic awaits. I am diving right into this one. Let's do it! October 2018's box is called the Divining Box. So this box is all about divining or divination and it includes three methods of divination. One is witch's ruins, two is palmistry, and three is hydromancy or scrying with a chalice. This is really cool. So right away when I open the box I have my tarot card. You get a tarot card that's chosen specifically for each box every month. It comes from a different tarot deck. Pretty much every month it's from a deck I've never seen before which is awesome because I have so many decks so to get some cards that are new to me is really exciting. This one is a cups card and it's really cool. The collage with like Art Nouveau vibes to it. It's really pretty. And now for the Book of Shadows pages. This month we get lots of goodies. For the Witch's Ruin we have two pages that go through each rune symbol and the description for each one. So this is a great resource for your Book of Shadows, my witchy friends. And then you get a journal page for when you actually divine with Witch's Ruins so that you can reflect and write down what your results were. We get an herb Book of Shadows page, and this month it is Calendula Petals. Very perfect and appropriate for October. Calendula, AKA Marigold. Ooh, this one is cool. It's a Hydromancy Book of Shadows page, and it explains what Hydromancy is for all of us that do not know, because I have scribed with mirrors, but I've never done scrying with water and I didn't even know what it was called. So this is really, really cool. And it's got an awesome image of a woman looking into water. Last but not least, we have a Book of Shadows page for palmistry. I'm so excited. This box is like the equivalent of Christmas day or solstice day or your birthday. I don't even have words. The first thing that I've pulled out is a gorgeous very large, very shiny, very witchy chalice for hydromancy. Oh my God, there's a pentacle in there. I hadn't even looked inside. You guys, what is even happening here? This is so gorgeous. I have three chalices and they are all half this size. They're very small, they're silver and they're gorgeous, but they're small and this one is wide wide is important because then you can gaze in and actually see your reflection and do your scrying. This is so gorgeous. I love it. It's so witchy. So let's keep going. Next up, we have a tin of incense. It is called Divining Truth Incense. So I can only imagine that this is perfect to burn while you are doing your divining work with one of these three methods provided, it is, holy smokes, it smells incredible. There's two really strong scents in here that I smell. One is like citrus and the other one is white sage. I definitely see sage, calendula. Oh, I see resin. I mean, it smells incredible. It smells like magic in a tin and it's six ounces. So this is a lot of incense, you guys. Next up, we have a beautiful jar of calendula petals that just smell so good. I want to eat them. So there's the witch's apothecary label. Like I've mentioned every time, I have a growing collection on my shelf that looks so beautiful with all of these jars and labels explaining which what the herbs are. Digging in. I find a beautiful and very Hallows pouch. It's black velvet with this beautiful goddess, triple goddess, triple moon, triple everything looking goodness. 
inside, I think I know what it is. It's the Witch's Rune set. Shut up. So they're wooden. They're these perfect little wooden slabs with the Witch's Ruin burnt onto them. Look at these, you guys. They're so beautifully done. This is a great Witch's Ruin set. They feel really good in my hands. This is a good box. Lastly, I've got something pretty epic here. Yep. It's a palmistry hand. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. It's everything. Everything, everything, everything. You can lay it on its back. There's these little felt tabs or it can sit. It sits upright as well. It also came with a very cool old school looking palmistry handbook. The short guide to character analysis and prognostication by means of reading palms. This actually, for a very small book, goes into a lot of detail in regards to reading palms. I'm sure there are in-depth books about this, but it, you can absolutely read a palm, your palm or someone else's palm, just off of this guide. We're ready to go. It even talks about hand shapes and elements that are correlated. I have a palmistry palm. So that's the October Divining Box. It's incredible, I'm kind of speechless. I had a feeling this would be one of my favorite boxes of the year. I can say that it is. I am definitely a Hallows, witchy October, level up my witch game <laughs> type of witch. I love this time of year. And these are all the perfect, perfect tools to do that with. Thank you so much for joining. Definitely head over to thewitchesbox.com and get your subscription going. You do not want to miss out on any of these goodies. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!